Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course. So in this module, we will look at a different topic that is frequency translation or frequency mixing. Okay? So we will start our discussion on a new topic that is frequency translation in a communication system or frequency mixing. frequency translation or frequency mixing, frequency translation and mixing. in communication systems. In communication systems. Now this frequency translation, all right, it is a very important idea of frequency shifting uh, through mixing is a very important idea in uh, signal processing at the receiver in a communication system in which all the signals at the different carrier frequencies like all the various signals that can be received right, at the receiver are shifted or translated to a common frequency. Okay? So this in the processing of signals, in the processing of signals in communication system, it is desirable to shift or translate the modulated signals at the receiver to a new center frequency. So, in or for signal processing and communication systems, for signal processing in communication systems, it is desirable it is desirable all the modulated signals or translate all the modulated signals to a new desire, new center frequency to shift all the modulated signals to a to a new center frequency either shift or basically this can also be seen as translate translation is nothing but shifting so we would like to shift or translate all the uh, all the modulated signals, received modulated signals to a new frequency. All right? This operation is termed as, now this operation is termed as, uh, so this is termed as frequency mixing or heterodyning. This operation is termed as frequency mixing or heterodyne or heterodyning okay this operation is frequency mixing or the receiver this is termed as a heterodyne receiver all right which performs this heterodyning operation all right and this new center frequency all right this new center frequency this common center frequency to which all the received center signals are translated this is termed as the intermediate frequency IF, this new center frequency, this is termed as the intermediate frequency, this is termed as the this is termed as the intermediate frequency or IF. Okay. After this, the signal is amplified, filtered and demodulated. After this, after 
amplified filtered and after this the filter is ampli after this the signal is amplified filtered and demodulated okay so this is termed as the intermediate so all the frequencies the modulated signals are translated to a common center frequency a new center frequency which is termed as the intermediate frequency this process is called as frequency translation or mixing uh, or basically heterodyning okay this is done in a heterodyne receiver okay now for instance for instance let us take an example all the amplitude model all am radio signals all the amplitude modulated radio signal all the am radio signals that is in the 542 1600 kilohertz but there is all the main radio signals at these different characteristics in the uh, different central carrier frequencies in diff this band are shifted to the common frequency shifted or translated to, co to the common intermediate frequency equal to 4 55 kilohertz. This is your intermediate IF for basically the intermediate frequency. Okay. This is your IF for intermediate frequency. And how is this achieved? This is achieved as follows. For instance, let us say I have x t which is the incoming message signal, incoming signal, modulated signal n t cosine 2 pi f 1 t. So, this is the incoming signal. Okay. So, this is your incoming signal. Now, what I am going to do, I am going to mix this, I am going to demodulate. This pro operation is known as, this process is known as mixing. Mixing is nothing but de demodulating, but with a different frequency. So, you are mixing it with a different frequency, that is the whole idea. So, I am demodulating this with a different frequency. I am mixing this. So, this is a local oscillator. Now, in a coherent demodulator, we demodulate with the same frequency. If f1 is a, a frequency carrier frequency of the incoming signal, we demodulate with f1. But here, we are using, we use a different frequency f2, all right, demodulating or uh, mixing with this frequency, multiplying with this frequency uh, carrier of frequency f2. Okay. So, I have this local oscillator which generates this carrier at 2 cosine 2 pi not f2 but f1 plus f2t okay so mixing with so this local oscillator basically corresponds to frequency so the local oscillator corresponds to frequency f1 plus f2 this basically is a mixer okay this is basically what it is doing is performing a mixing operation. A mixer basically is mixing, there is an incoming signal frequency f1, signal uh, local oscillator frequency f1 plus f2. So, this, this demodulate is basically this mixer is mixing these two signals and we get an output. Now, what is the output that we get? So, let us call this output x tilde t. Now, let us examine this output x tilde t x tilde t equals, this is equal to m t cosine 2 pi f 1 t
times that is your x t times cosine 2 pi f 1 plus f 2 t that is a carrier frequency of the mixer that gives me half m t cosine 2 pi f 1 t into cosine 2 pi f 1 plus f 2 into f 2 t that is. So, this is half cosine 2 pi f 1 plus f 2 minus f 1 f 2 t plus cosine 2 pi f 1 plus f 1 plus f 2 that is 2 f 1 that is basically your uh, your 2 f 1 plus f 2 t. Now, this is at a much higher frequency though this can be eliminated by band pass filtering that is band pass filtering at f 2. This 2 f 1 plus f 2 can be eliminated by band pass filtering at center frequency f 2. Therefore, what we have to do is at the output we have to pass it through a band pass filter centered at f 2 and once you pass it through a band pass filter centered at f 2 this component gets eliminated what we get after b p f after b p f is half m t into cosine 2 pi f 2 t. So, now you can see it is translated to this new frequency f 2 where f 2 is the intermediate frequency. So, this f 2 is nothing but i f that is the intermediate frequency. So, this is translated translated to the intermediate frequency f 2. translated to the intermediate frequency f 2 and therefore, the output of this will be half m t cosine 2 pi f 2 t. This is your i f signal intermediate frequency signal. Okay. So, basically what we are doing is we have this f 1 income signal with uh, incoming signal carrier frequency f 1 mixing with we are mixing with the locally generated carrier which has frequency f 1 plus f 2 and therefore, after you band pass filter the output you get the net signal with at the intermediate frequency that is m t half m t cosine 2 pi f 2 t which is at the intermediate frequency i f f 2. So, this is the i f stage. So, basically this is your intermediate frequency stage. In this i f stage the signal is automatically suitably as we said in the i f stage signal is, uh, signal is amplified, filtered and then demodulated. So, in the i f stage signal is suitably amplified. So, we first amplify, we filter. and we demodulate. Demodulate in the sense multiply by f 2 carrier frequency f 2. Remember now the i f stage has frequency carrier frequency f 2 because it is cosine 2 pi f 2 t. So, you multiply by cosine 2 pi f 2 t followed by low pass filtering. Okay, that is again the followed by and then L p f which gives you your m t basically. Okay. So, that is what we are doing. Okay. So, that basically describes this property of translation or mixing where what we have seen is basically we have incoming signal carrier frequency f 1 all such so various possible different carrier frequencies signals of various possible carrier frequencies are translated to a common intermediate frequency that is f 2 this operation is known as translation all right frequency translation or basically heterodyning.
okay. And uh, this now the incoming signal can have a different frequency f1, all right. Therefore, the mixing frequency f1 plus f2 is also going to change. However, the f2 that is the frequency of the intermediate frequencies, this is going to remain constant, all right. This if, the intermediate frequency f2 is always constant, all right. So, all the frequency, all the signals, modulated signals irrespective of f1 are mixed by f1 plus f2 to bring them or to translate them to a common intermediate frequency f2, all right, all right. So, this is the operation in a heterodyne receiver. So, we will stop here and continue with this in the subsequent module. Thank you.